Hello from the busiest train station in Europe, by the number of trains that pass through or call here. Of course I'm talking about Clapham Junction. Today you'll be joining me on a quick trip south to Eastbourne with Southern Rail in Standard Class. Clapham was opened on the 2nd of March 1863 and serves a little under 30 million people before the pandemic with that dropping to just 8 million during COVID. Our train for today departs from platform number 13. This is where most of Southern's regional services depart from. At the platform, you can find an indoor waiting room and a Costa coffee. And our train arrives into Clapham on time at 31 minutes past one, having started its journey at London Victoria just seven minutes ago. Today we'll be travelling aboard one of Southern's refurbished Class 377s, introduced back in 2003. And we depart Clapham Junction on time at 31 minutes past one. Total scheduled journey time for today will be 1 hour and 25 minutes and will reach a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Right, time for a seat tour. You can find a large and sturdy tray table in front of you. Down to the side, you can find armrests, which I found a little too high for comfort. Leg room is pretty good, with enough room to stretch out. Up here, you can find reading lights and overhead luggage space. There are also luggage racks dotted around the train. Comfort of these seats is pretty good with them being nicely padded. After about 20 minutes, we arrive into our first stop of the day, East Croydon. The station serves as a useful link between Thameslink and Southern services to the south of England and London. We then call at Gatwick Airport, which is currently under redevelopment, with the works expected to be completed by early 2023. Right, time for a loo review. Everything was working as expected, as well as being clean.
Currently, we're in the part of the train that has a 3x2 configuration, with our carriage now coming in a 2x2. This is to help with overcrowding, especially around London and Gatwick Airport. We then call at Haywards Heath, which also serves services with Thameslink. After Cooksbridge, we call it Lewis. From here, you can catch commuter services on the oldest electric train in Britain to Brighton. And our final stop of the day, about five minutes before Eastbourne, is Hampden Park. As we're fast approaching Eastbourne, I'll give my thoughts and opinions on today's trip. Overall, I was pretty impressed with our journey for today. Southern offer a really nice service on their regional routes, with comfortable seats and cheap prices. The Class 377s are still going strong nearly 20 years on, and serve as the backbone of Southern's regional routes. The 2021 refit gave the trains much needed benefits of plug sockets and information screens, with Wi-Fi also being available. My ticket for today cost me £10.75 for two advanced single returns between London and Eastbourne. This is really good value for money in my opinion, as I only booked this ticket two days before travel. And we arrive into Eastbourne on time at 11 minutes to 3.
Well, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and share, as well as subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my Patreon and channel memberships for exclusive perks. Thank you and I'll see you next Friday.